Hi everyone. Why should a white Latina woman never marry a black man? This love story between Alexandra, a Latin girl who is doing a degree in education at the University of Houston in Texas, and Jamal, a young black African-American who is studying business degree at the same university. Despite the love that both feel for each other, this interracial relationship is not well accepted by both family groups. If you are one of the people who likes love stories between people of different racial or cultural groups, this short love story of interracial relationships could be for you. The plot of the story of this romantic drama is centralized in that the parents of one of the main characters who did not accept that their daughter, a white girl, was romantically involved with an African-American man. But we must also talk about the challenges that black man faced who was criticized by some members of his family for marrying outside of his race. No one doubts that Alexandra and Jamal, as an interracial couple, both face great challenges as a result of the social and cultural taboos associated with this type of interracial relationship in the United States, mainly in the Latino community. Especially when we talk about Alexandra's father who opposes this relationship between his daughter, a white girl, and a black African-American man. What is the reason for the resistance of these interracial and multicultural relationships in the Latino community? It is an answer that Alexandra and Jamal would like to know at this moment. Even though we know about the enormous popularity that interracial marriages are having in this right now, especially famous actors and actresses who choose a partner from racial groups different from theirs. When you watch the most famous television series on national networks, where interracial relationships between different black and white racial groups are the center of attention, that tells you that such relationships should not be questioned. But it is something that Alexandra's father does not want to acknowledge and is against the love relationship between her daughter and her black boyfriend, Jamal. With nothing else to say, let me tell you about this story. Alexandra and Jamal were walking down one of the main streets in downtown Houston, near the theater district area, where they both enjoyed one of the plays in one of the most popular theaters in that area. The Hobby Center for the Performing Arts, presenting musicals and dance shows. Jamal, as a way to establish a conversation with Alexandra when they were leaving the theater, he told her, using a voice of concern, Alexandra, during the play, I noticed that you were a little absent. Alexandra, sweetheart, didn't you like the play? No, Jamal, the play was excellent and I liked it a lot, but my mind is busy right now about something my father told me the other night. My apology for that. If it is not very personal, you can tell me if you want. What is on your mind that creates some concern? No, I don't think I should, Jamal. I don't want to ruin this moment with you. My love, don't pay attention to me about that. I apologize if I gave you that impression but you know that what I enjoy the most is being by your side. After several minutes of walking, they reach the car lot where the vehicle is parked. Jamal, if you don't mind, why don't we sit on a bench in Discovery Green Park and enjoy a bit of the panoramic view of the different skyscrapers that Houston downtown has to offer. Both sat in front of an artificial lagoon holding hands, leaning towards each other as a sign of love for each other. Both as looking into the distance in a perfect harmony between two people who feel love for each other. Alexandra, can I ask you a question? Sure, dear. Your family does not approve of the love relationship between you and me. Jamal, why are you asking me that question? You and I have been dating for several months and you still haven't allowed me to have any kind of conversation with your parents. I didn't want to tell you, Jamal, but my mother and father don't approve of this kind of love relationship. My father hates that I date an African-American man. Alexandra, I know that this type of interracial relationship between a black man and a white woman is not accepted by some in the Latino culture. But there is something you should know. This interracial relationship is not accepted by some black women, especially my younger sister. She complains to me that I shouldn't be dating women outside of my racial group. But my sister doesn't tell me what kind of woman to see or who to date. Jamal, with my father it is a little different, and more when the blessing of a father is extremely important for a daughter. Jamal, I love my parents so many that for me, it is important that they accept the man that I choose as a partner. Many friends told me that interracial relationships were not accepted in the Latino community, and especially when that man is African American, in which cultural differences are a factor when considering, when talking about raising children. 
Alexandra, I understand your father's fears about an interracial relationship between an African-American man and a white woman, and more so when you learn about the history of systematic racism against people of color. I know, Jamal. It is a dark event that stains the history of this country. Events that many people want to erase. Alexandra, remember that during the history of the slave system, especially in the southern states, racial segregation, the Jim Crow norm of conduct, and during the civil rights struggles in the nation for Martin Luther King Jr., this type of marital relationship was by and prohibited in many states of the Union. Alexandra, interrelationship relations were legally prohibited between a black and a white, until in the case of Loving v. Virginia, U.S. in 1967. It was a landmark civil rights decision of the U.S. Supreme Court in which the court ruled that interracial banning laws was unconstitutional. This persecution of interracial marriages as a way to preserve the purity of the white race unfortunately is part of the collective conscience and fears of many Americans as well, including your parents. Alexandra, what your parents are doing is a product of the love they feel for you. As a way, they have to protect you from the challenges this type of relationship presents. The criticism, the mockery, the backbiting, and the objections of those who do not accept it. The refusal that your parents have to support a forbidden relationship based on the anti-black culture in the country, an anti-black sentiment which was born during slavery. Your parents do not hate who I am and what I represent. They are simply worried about what could happen to you in this type of interracial relationship, which is not accepted in this country by some, but is tolerated by others. Jamal, you are absolutely right in what you tell me about my parents. Alexandra, when talking about your parents, we must understand the origin of their real or unfounded fears and understand how they are reacting to these fears. I agree with you, Jamal. What you have told me has produced a certain tranquility that I did not have before. Alexandra, sometimes you have to trust people who love you. Alexandra, let's not think about that anymore and enjoy what life offers us right now in such a beautiful place. If you wish, you and I can spend a weekend with your parents as a way to gain trust and to accept this type of love relationship. I think your parents will be very happy when her favorite daughter dedicates her time to her parents. Jamal, would you do that for me? Sure, Alexandra. For me, the most important thing is to see you happy. Alexandra, one day after spending a nice afternoon with Jamal in downtown Houston, as a way to get in touch with her mother just like every day. This time, Alexandra makes a phone call, keeping in mind to let her parents know that she and Jamal will visit them at the end of the week. Hello, good morning, mother. Hi, Alexandra, how are you? Mother, I'm fine, and how is my father? He's fine, sweetheart. Mother, I'm calling to tell you that Jamal and I will visit you this end of week, if you do not have another kind of activity to do. Not that I know of, Alexandra, but when it comes to you, sweetheart, you can be sure that your father, he always has time for you. Remember, Alexandra, you are your father's favorite daughter. I know, mother, and even more so when I am the only daughter he has. Mother, can I ask you a question? Of course, if Alexandra, what do you have on your mind? Mother, why is my father against me dating Jamal? Sweetheart, it is a question a bit complicated for me to answer as a wife, but also as a mother. Alexandra, sweetheart, many times people judge other people without understanding the reasons why that person has that belief and acts in a certain way. For you to know the reasons why your father does not accept a marital relationship between his daughter and an African-American man, Alexandra, before you judge your father so harshly, you must know the personal experiences of discrimination, social exclusion, and challenges that your father had to overcome. As the son of Mexican immigrants who came to this country while working on agricultural farms. Many times your father had to move every time his parents found another job in another state, picking fruits in the agricultural fields. Your father, as the son of an immigrant born in this country, was many times that he was despised, humiliated, and bullied for being the son of an immigrant. When your father was studying in high school, there were some teachers who said to your father, why don't you come back to Mexico? You are not welcome in this country. Alexandra, sweetheart, your father grew up in a discriminatory and hopeless environment. Simply because of him, he was different from the rest. Remember, Alexandra, the fact that you are an American citizen is not a shield against discrimination, and all Mexican Americans in this country, in one way or another, have at some time been discriminated against. If you add to that being the wife of a black man, mother of mixed race children, the challenges will be much more difficult to overcome. Alexandra, don't judge your father so harshly. 
Maybe he is protecting you in his own way that you and your children suffer the same levels of discrimination, humiliation, and bullying that he suffered when your father was a teenage boy. Mother, why did my father never tell me about it? Alexandra, you should know that men in general, and more so Mexican men, who do not like to talk about situations in which they make him feel weak. Alexandra, your father, like all Mexican men, was taught to be tough and behave like a man. Mother, times have changed right now. There are many interracial relationships between a black man and a white woman. Alexandra, my sweetheart, when we talk about discrimination for being different, nothing has changed. You will be discriminated against for being a Mexican-American and being the wife of a black man. My sweetheart, let me tell you something. When your father was young, people used the same expressions. Times are different. People are more tolerant. And now you know part of your father's life and all that he suffered for being different, which tells you that there are many things that never change, and more so when you are the children of an immigrant in this country. Alexandra, sweetheart, don't be naive. Immigrants will always be discriminated against, but the children of those immigrants will also be discriminated against, and if you add children of mixed race between black and white, you cannot imagine the levels of discrimination that they will suffer in a society like America where being different is the reason behind that hatred many whites project right now. Mother, are you telling me that my father will never accept my relationship with Jamal, my African-American boyfriend? No, I'm not telling you that. What I'm telling you is that your father is going to need a lot of time and patience on your part for him to change his mind on this matter. But if there is someone who can change what his father thinks, you are Alexandra. Alexandra, your father is not against an interracial relationship between a black man and a white girl. What he does not want is to see the suffering that he suffered repeated in his daughter for being different. It is possible that Jamal is the right husband for you, that he is the ideal father of your children, someone who loves you more than you expect and a man who respects you. When you talk about your father right now, that is not a focus of attention. It is something that you must understand. Alexandra, sweetheart, if you really love that black man, don't give up on your relationship with him, but neither on your father. The direct dialogue between Jamal, a black African-American man, and your father is a good beginning to heal the wounds and fears of a past that your father is controlling right now. Alexandra, after having that conversation on the phone with his mother, she felt a bit confused about what she should do, but she and Jamal continued with plans to visit Alexandra's parents that weekend. One Saturday afternoon after a long drive from Houston to Dallas, Texas, where Alexandra's parents live. When they got to Alexandra's parents, they both opened the small front yard door and immediately the front door of the house opened with an expression of joy from Alexandra's mother. Mother, this is Jamal. Nice to meet you. Please come in. Your father is in the main room waiting for you. Thank you very much for having us. After everyone greeted Alexandra's father, everyone sat on the main living room sofa. Suddenly, Alexandra's mother walks to the kitchen and asks Alexandra to accompany her. Alexandra, in a gesture of courtesy towards her father and Jamal, she apologizes to both of them for leaving only a moment. Alexandra, tell me, mother, something you must learn as a wife. Problems between men, women do not get involved. Leave your father and boyfriend alone to solve their problems. Mother, I'm dying to know what they're talking about. Alexandra, my sweetheart, there are many things that a wife is better not to know about your husband. It is something that you will learn when you are married and have children. Alexandra, as a mother, the only thing she can tell you, trying not to create false hope knowing your father, maybe your boyfriend will tell him the right words or impress him in such a way that he can change your father's negative opinion of interracial relationships. Of course, it is also possible that your father's stubbornness is above the happiness of his daughter. It is something that, knowing Hispanic men, you never know how they will react. Right now, the most that you and I can do is pray for the sake of your happiness and your father's emotional peace of mind. After several minutes of anguish, which was killing Alexandra inside, Alexandra's father opened a bottle of tequila, brought out several glasses from the counter, and filling her boyfriend's glass, Alejandra's father simply told him with a loud voice, Welcome to the family, my future son-in-law. As a sign of approval of the marital union between his daughter, a Hispanic girl, and a black man. Alexandra hugged her father with joy, grateful that he was blessing their relationship, in which her father told her in a loving tone, It seems that your heart of a woman in love made the right choice, and who am I to be an obstacle to the happiness of my beloved daughter? Alexandra's mother, after hearing everything said by Alexandra's father, thanked God for listening to Alexandra's prayers. 
Alexandra and her boyfriend Jamal hugged each other, looked into each other's eyes as if silently saying, I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you made it this far, thank you very much for listening to the love story between Alexandra, a beautiful Latin woman, and Jamal, an intelligent African-American man who faces one of their great challenges as an interracial couple in the United States. Thank you very much for your attention.